Hi, this is Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you an easier way to do the stem on the Morning Glory afghan that's in my um, Best of Maggie Weldon Crochet Afghans which has 36 um, of some of my best designs in it and the item number is LA3859 and you can just search that on Maggie'sCrochet.com so in those directions, in the directions, it tells you to um, crochet, make a chain that's 65 inches long. And then you go in and you tack that onto the, um, the strips for the morning glories and the leaves to be sewn to it, uh, attached to. So I'm going to show you a different technique. You can do it that way, but I think this way is a little bit easier. So here I've got a strip that doesn't have the stem on it, so that's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to start right down here at the point. And I'm going to put a loop, uh, a um, slip knot on my yarn, the end of my yarn. And to do that, I make a loop. The strand that's over the top of that loop goes to the back like this, and it cuts the circle in half. And then I'm going to pull that up out of the center. So see how I have that across there, down through the center, and then out. So the slip knot's good because you can pull it out easily and you can adjust it when you put it on your hook like that. So I, I really like using a slip knot. And you can adjust it, it should be floating like this. But for this, I am not going to put this on my hook. I am going to put my hook from front to back through where I want to start and see that there? I've got it from the front to the back and I'm going to pick up the loop in the back and I'm going to work with my yarn in the back of the piece. So my yarn is going to be held at the wrong side of my piece and I'll be working the stitches on the top side, on the right side of my piece. Sometimes this is called tambour crochet, and I think there's other another name for it too, but I don't remember. So you draw that loop out of where you want to start, like this, right? And then you go back in, you skip a little space, you go back in and you catch the yarn from the back side and you bring that out. So you just work your chain like this and you just keep bringing it out of the holes or out of the stitches, wherever you want it to go. So you could work your chain all the way up this piece with this technique. See how that's looking there? So what you want to do too is kind of curve it as you see in the picture. And I'm just going down and I'm holding the yarn in the back side right here. And I'm going down and I'm catching the yarn from the wrong side. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick up the yarn from the wrong side. Just like this. See that? You know what you could do is just take a long strand of yarn and with a long needle and just weave it through where you want it to be and then come back and follow it like follow along the right side of it or something and then you know exactly where you want to go. But I'm just holding my hand as, as if I'm still holding my yarn the way I normally hold it, like this, underneath here. And I'm just um, going down to, through the back. It's like I'm working through something. Like this. And I want, I'm making my chains really loose. Like this. See that? That's really neat. I don't know where I ever learned to do this, but I think I saw it in a book. So it could really add a lot to different designs. You could put like just crochet a border around it and once you get the hang of it, it's it's pretty easy. So that's how you do um, an alternate um, stem for the um, Morning Glory Afghan or you could use this on, on other Afghans too where you have stems involved. And we have a new design coming out that's going to have a stem on it too. 
So that's one way of doing it differently. Thank you very much for watching and this book is available at maggiescrochet.com and I hope you join our, subscribe to our YouTube channel and a link to this book will be underneath the video wherever, uh, wherever it is. They usually go to a, diff a couple of different places. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.